In this video, we're going to configure our enemy blocks. To do this, we need to be in the config mode. Click the config tab. Then click on the enemy that you want to configure. This opens up the enemy settings menu, which is a lot like Character Lab. Here we can change the enemy's speed, size, life, jump power, and attack. We can also change the enemy's artwork here. I'm going to change this enemy's life to one heart, and then I'm going to click save. Let's test it. That worked exactly like I thought it would, but now let's make some more changes. I'm going to customize this enemy even further. I'm going to change its speed and its size, as well as give it one more heart. Remember to click save to keep your changes. I'm going to modify this enemy's settings one more time. I'm going to make it the largest size I can, give it some more health, and I'm going to give it a throwing attack. Click save and test it. Since I made all of these customizations, it would be very tedious for me to go in and do this for multiple enemies. Luckily, there's a selection tool. Go down here and click on the selection tool. I can select the enemy that I configured, and I can copy and stamp it in multiple grid spaces. When I hit test, you can see that all three enemies are behaving exactly the same. Let's try something else now. I'm going to go to the block tab so I can erase these enemies, and I'm going to put in new ones. We're going to see what happens now when we decorate an enemy with an existing character. Before I decorate it, let's check out the default settings really quick. There's a lot to remember here, but try to remember that this has six hearts. I'm going to add a second enemy in here and leave it undecorated and unconfigured so you can see how the two compare. Let's take my character and decorate this enemy now. Once again, let's check out the default enemy. Notice it has a stomp attack and six hearts, like we mentioned before. When I compare it to the new enemy, you'll see that he has a throwing attack, three hearts, and he's also really fast, amongst some other things. Let's test it out. These two characters now have completely different behavior from each other. That's pretty cool. You can create a lot of different enemy types this way. Once again, I'm going to go to the block tab and use the eraser tool to delete these enemies. I'm going to add a new purple block, and this time we're going to make it a flying enemy. To make a flying enemy, notice where it says jump power. In the third panel. The third option there will let you make the enemy a flyer. There are three different effect styles for the flyer enemy. Choose whichever effect fits your enemy's personality the most. 